Hello everyone. Today we will talk about beetle larva care. This is Eastern Hercules beetle larva. I purchased this from Bugs in Cyberspace, which is a great way to get your pet insects. I'm not gonna handle them because they can poop and they can bite. I'm gonna leave them alone for now. As you can see, this is this looks like a pretty natural terrarium. And it is. This is about the care for them. Okay. This is Eastern Hercules beetle larva. They do poop. A lot. Especially if you hold them. They'll feel way softer if they do poop. So, let's get on with the video. As you can see, it's pooping right now. I'm going to let you keep grazing on your wood. So, first of all, they eat wood. This is... It's some hardwood. They eat this. This is the majority of their diet. They also eat oak flake soil. Josh's frogs millimix. And when they grow up into beetles, they'll eat peaches, things like peaches and apples. They are pretty big and scary, um, but they are also easy to care for. I also have some damn spagamoss. They don't need much care at all. They just need a frequent misting. And when they turn into beetles, recreate their habitat, and then you shall feed them some nice stuff. What is nice stuff? Well, it's the stuff I talked about before. Peaches and apples. That is their favorite food as adults. As kids, aka larva, their favorite food is stuff in this terrarium. Oak Lake toil, Soil, which I bought at Bugs in Cyberspace. Hardwood chips, hardwood. Spagamos, I don't know if they eat that. Um, the Millimix, as I talked about before. As you can see, it's just trying to munch into the wood. It was a second ago before I took the wood away. As you can see, they like hanging out on the wood. They just squirm around like worms a lot. They're not worms, they grow up into beetles. There's a practical size comparison between them and my fingers for they snap at them. They do snap, doesn't hurt that much. No, uh, I lost the lid, so I'm gonna take this down. Sorry, just a portable charger. Because the phone is out of battery. Sorry for that big noise. On this pipette. The terrarium. As you can see, I keep two of them in a bin this big. It's a great size bin. I'm going to put this on the hissers because I'm trying to, they won't encounter each other too frequently in this bin, but I do want to breed the one they do grow into adults. See, roly polies, uh, I'm just going to put it here. Seems to be about something like 15 inches long. It's pretty big. This is great for them. Some people keep them in like drawer size things, like this size or this size. It's not suitable for a praying mantis unless it's a smaller one like this size. But if it's like this size, which was my praying mantis, it would not be suitable. As you can see, this is my room. This is my peace scaper colony, Priscilla scaper. There's some nice morphs in here on my website. I call it Peace Gaber Hobby Mix. As you may know, if you want, on my website. It's a fair sized colony. Can't find all of them. Yeah, they're on the drier side. Might be a little too moist for them right now. 
Hopefully they breed soon. You guys are definitely expecting that. And um, when they grow up, you can also feed them Asian beetle jellies. Beetle larva. <laughs> this is about beetle larva care. I'm just going to show you my pets in the meantime. Talk about it because they're not like, well, they're handleable. So they're more handleable than they're adults, but it's not. As you can see, this is also. As you get, they, they also eat um, Asian beetle jellies, if you've ever heard of them. Um, they're also on bugs in cyberspace. I've never bought any, but I will. These, there they are. These things I was talking about are these things. So these are giant canyons, isopods. I don't have any really cool looking isopods. Cool thing one is powder orange and dairy cows. Those are cool, I guess. I'm going to upgrade this cohab. I have two things. Why not? If you. Wait, is that a female? What is it? Oh. It's a pretty cool variation. These guys haven't bred yet for me. So they have. Because this is the species I really want to do selective breeding with. This is a female, darn it. I really want uh, some variation. It's going to get this colony very large. And uh, Asian beetle jellies, I think, are good for them. I think they might be better because they, um, beetles that feed on Asian beetle jellies have an enhanced lifespan. Take oh, this is like classic looking as a garbage. What's that? Yeah, that's like Asian beetle jelly. Just keep them moist. They live in tree trunks. You could buy yours at Bugs on Cyberspace. Or have your strange pets. We don't have any babies yet. These are my pets until they breed. But we are getting praying mantises. Five praying mantis egg cases. It's pretty cool. I do like praying mantises. tub nature tub See if they've reproduced for me yet. No, I wish they have. Expect them a little soon. These guys escape often sometimes. Although, they really try to escape. I usually catch them in their evil schemes. I don't know if I hydrated this one today. Hydrate them every day. Some sources do it, uh, but it's all about ventilation and stuff. I don't need to do this one that much. I don't do this one much today. Well, I, some, I do, but, like, you don't need to do this one. Let's see? Let's pump. These guys really like hiding under the cork bar. 
comes to my colonies are very small. I don't need more on Sinicus Cellus. Don't need any more giant canyons. I don't need any more hissers. I do need at least two more American giant millipedes. I need a lot more stuff in this terrarium. I also need a lot more of this stuff in this terrarium. Uh, but this one's great. Um, and goodbye, everyone. Uh, hopefully we learned something about beetle larvae care, but they are gross in some people's minds. So if you have anyone you live with or, um, something like that, here's a baby. Um, definitely, definitely approve of them before getting these. Many people think they're gross. If you're one of those people, these might not be great for you. If you do want to pee pet insects, but you do not want to be larva, think of it hissing cockroaches or isopods. Or millipedes as a good substitute. So everyone have an awesome day. Bye bye.